Hello and welcome to KSP. This is the big one. Today we will be going orbital. Yes, you heard correct. After three episodes of sounding rockets, we are finally going to go orbital and we're actually going to do it as a crew module. Yes. All right. Perfect. So when looking over all the contracts, I'm just thinking the main one which we'll need to look at is the orbit Kerbin contract because that one we will be the most important that we'll be taking on today. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes, Gene, that one. We also have some uh, assignments to have to hold the real shoots, the radial mount drogue shoots, and the parachutes in flight over Kerbin, so we might actually also do those. First, Let's get into making an orbital class vehicle. We're going to take the onion capsule. It needs to have these chutes. So, okay, let's see. What do we have? Parachutes, parachutes, parachutes. I'm blind these days. Oh, there they are. Okay, so we need real chute, radial chute. Yeah, this one needs to go in. There we go. Okay, let's put them on a separate stage. Then we need a radial mount drogue parachutes. Yes. I think those can be tested together because first we activate the drogue chutes, then we activate the real chutes, and then we're good, I guess. I think those two shall be the main one. Yeah, and I should in theory test the last shoot, but I don't think that would work. I think we'll have to suffice with these two for the time being. Okay, let's start designing the, uh, the stage that will be basically going to orbit. Now, I, since I don't know if this guy has the SAS or stabilization, I'm actually going to put these small radial gyroscopes that are going to help me with the attitude control. Four of them to be exact. Then I'm going to be putting some batteries. And guys, you're actually watching this without the time acceleration because I wanted really, since guessing, guess, guessing this, this is our first orbital class vehicle, I wanted to be able to provide a full commentary. So actually, as you can see, I'm putting in the photovoltaic panels i'm trying also to put the batteries and i'm trying not to put too many because we do have a limited part count and a limited mass all right so i mean our launch pad is still being upgraded but once it gets upgraded we'll be able to run up to 140 tons yes okay monoprop tank no we're gonna take the mothra parts which is a part of the Tundra expansion, which is basically SpaceX parts. And I'm actually going to be putting the Pug engine here. Is there a better one I should be using, maybe? The Marlin? I'm guessing that that's a Merlin engine, SpaceX Merlin engine. Okay, let's just rename it first. Orb, Orbital Candidate 1. And as you can see, since we're using the real command pod, basically my uh, Kerbals have actually learned that attaching, you know, a seat to the booster might not be the best idea. Yes. So this is not the first crewed uh, module to be launched, but it will hopefully be the first crew that gets to orbital and the first crew that will be done the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah, okay, so that's the upper stage, and let's then proceed in assembling the main stage. Hmm, what shall we take for the main stage? I'm actually thinking since I'm sticking to SpaceX, Mothra, uh, is there another from Tundra Exploration? Okay. Oh I, oh, I need to fix my staging. Check your staging. Yes. So, 
we put that one and there's another decoupler that needs to fire together within this then this decoupler and then the rogue shoots then the real shoots good so far so good thrust weight is 0 0.33 if we were launching it on the surface however we're not going to be launching it on surface so that's going to be fine um, i was actually first initially going with multiple of mothra's tanks but i'm thinking that's just but ugly and it'll be too many components so maybe we just put the mothra bigger tank like the real you know spacex stuff yes then i'm gonna be putting the should i be putting the swivel or the marlin okay let's quickly test it out so what's your gonna be your thrust to weight ratio here 1.22 that's less than stellar actually what about if i put the marlin One thirty. Well, it's not stellar, but I guess I'll have to take it. Now, let's see what can we do. Aerodynamics. I want to have the stabilizer fins because this one will be very flippy. I mean, the capsule is heavy and I have... I was actually thinking of putting these gyroscopes probably on the top stage but maybe I'll, I should just put two huh should that be enough because otherwise we're gonna be crossing the pass parts amount threshold so don't forget we need to actually put the experiments and communication shit up there and everything else sorry stuff poop whatever okay so now that being said, we have some experiments to put up there and we have some fits to put fins to put down. So you were gonna put the flight computer right about here, and I'm gonna need to have it in duplicate weight-wise. And I'm thinking of, I'll be attaching pairs of instruments. So thermometer, yes. We put in as a double and we put no actually on the opposite side i'm gonna be pressing the barometer then we have the geiger counter we put that one here on top nobody will mind i'm pretty sure of it okay that leaves us to 24 parts we need three more parts or at least four for the fins there we go. I'm actually liking how it looks. 3,323 and I'm thinking it will be a lot more once this thing gets into orbit. Because it only shows atmospheric rather than the real one. So. Shall we do the sim? Yeah, I'm not going to show you the results of the sim. <laughs> what I'm going to tell you is that I will be taking this orbital contract, though. Yes. All right. We might as well see if we have something else that we could be adding. Perhaps crossing the radiation belt? Uh -huh. Might as well. All right. So I've actually skipped the part where we were, you know, creating. And I'm actually thinking either Catherine Jenkins or Dorothy Bryant will be taking the... Oh, come on. Now, let's launch it. I'm thinking Dorothy Bryant will be taking the... Roll and three, two, one, and ignition. 
Oh, I just love the sounds. Look at that beautiful waterfall mod. The, the exhaust and the sound. Up, up and away it goes. All right. Ding, ding. Dorothy, how are you feeling? You will be the first Kerbal to be going orbital. Providing we don't mess up things royally, of course. I mean, those are gimbling pretty radically. Uh, guys, do, do you know, do the actual Merlin engines gimbal that much? Let me know in the comments below, what's the maximum gimbal angle of a Merlin engine? Yeah, seems like Dorothy is in good spirit, and why shouldn't she be? She will be making history today. Yes, I forgot to say that all of my experiments are running. The atmospheric pressure scan, the crew report, radiation, and the temperature scan. I don't have the experiment return unit or anywhere to store the experiment, so... It will be interesting to see how much I, may, I will be able to store. Our apoapsis has gone past 30,000, which is great. And we I'm just kind of cutting down a little bit on the throttle because there is no point of pushing past like a 1H to 2, so we're just wasting our fuel, especially in the atmosphere. Apoapsis almost passing 60 and if the apoapsis passes the 70 on this stage I'll be happy which it did beautiful all right we have Miko stage sap and the second stage ignition successful we are continuing with the burn not that I'm running with crash but all right Let's see now. Uh, our apoapsis is at 90 kilometers. We're gonna go coast gently to the apoapsis and then we're gonna reignite. We have a total of 227 seconds burn time and we have no idea how much we need to burn until we get to orbit. So I'm thinking of starting my orbital burn somewhere around maybe one minute or 45-ish second mark perhaps. Or actually, I forgot that this has a very low thrust to weight, so I'm actually starting it right now. And with the attitude, I'm going to be controlling that I'm holding the apoapsis steady around 90 kilometers. After all, I don't know for how long it will be burning, and I don't yet, I haven't yet unlocked the maneuver nodes. Yes. That's something that I will need sooner rather than later. Just look at this view. Oh yes, this is a this is a screenshot for the episode, definitely. Hello, beautiful. Look at another shot here, amazing. No cuts today, we are going straight for the orbit. Almost there, our periapsis is climbing ever so carefully. We do have enough burn time and I'm thinking that this actually engine has almost OP amount of delta V. Almost there. Twenty-eight second to the apoapsis, and I'm thinking now the apoapsis is extended. Let's extend the communitron, and sooner rather than later we should be in orbit. Come on, almost there. And, ladies and gentlemen, we are orbital. 90 by 87 perfect 
Dorothy Bryan, congratulations, you have become the first Kerbal, Kerbal that will be orbiting Kerbin. World first, yes. Huzzah! Can I disembark? Yeah, I forgot. I need to upgrade the Kerbal, you know, com astronaut complex for that. Yeah, now I'm thinking I'm gonna be running in orbit until I collect all the experiment. After what we will be... Oh, look at that. No, this is the screenshot for the episode. Look with the moon up there. Ooh, we were shooting just right past by. Beautiful. Amazing screenshot. Yes. I actually might make it for on one of my desktop backgrounds because this uh, picture I love so much. Now... Speaking of that, we probably need to do a full circle and after that we will be deorbiting and landing Dorothy Bryan. She doesn't have too much of the battery, so we have to be careful. All right. Stage destroyed. Well, don't mind if I do. I'm just keeping my eye on the electric charge and nitrogen. I want to see that my Kerbal is doing fine. Alright, almost a full revolution around Kerbin. Beautiful. And it will be a full... I'm just thinking I'll probably need to do a deorbit burn once we are aligned, so to say. I'm actually thinking I should probably do some of the deorbit burn sooner rather than later. Just to shed a little bit of, you know, apoapsis so that, or periapsis so that we can actually aero break around Earth. Oh, sorry, Kerbin. There we go. I'm thinking around 33 should suffice. All right, let's now go and oh look at that night time. Let's accelerate until the point where we start to re-enter the atmosphere. Oh, there's the KSC. Or is it KSC? Nah, it could be something else. What a beautiful sunrise. Yeah, I think it's time that we start going to collect our hard-earned, you know, funds that we should be probably collecting all experiments and we should be starting about when to tri trigger what parachute. We are definitely going down and we will be now accelerating still a little bit until we get to the stage where the air is so thick that we can no longer accelerate but we need to just start decelerating and then we're going to be starting to see atmospheric heating effects. It should start happening any moment now. I'm sorry, Dorothy, what were you saying? Let's do this at slightly time acceleration so that w until we start hitting, getting the heat effects, when we start hit getting heat effects, we will be probably decreasing time acceleration. Don't talk at the same time for crying out loud. There we go. 
I actually have pretty much a lot of fuel, so maybe I should use it to just, you know, slow down, decelerate a bit. But we won't always have this engine bell or this amount of, you know, fuel, so I, I'm actually thinking that we'll just, you know, run nicely and maybe we just open up a throttle a little just to decelerate if it comes, if the push comes to shove. Okay, we're starting to get the atmospheric heating effects. And look at that, we can see the KSC on the horizon. Beautiful. We are 45 kilometers up and now our periapsis is starting to drop significantly and I'm even trying to, you know, break with the engine, try to expand a little bit of the delta V that we still have in the engine just to decelerate quicker. All right. What do you guys think? Will we be landing or not straight on the KSC or we will land somewhere else? I want to hear your comments within the next 10 seconds. Just shoot whatever's on your mind. We are continuing with our burn, although our engine hasn't had too much Delta V remaining. I'm actually thinking of saving the rest for the engine because it really doesn't contribute that much to the deceleration. I'm thinking now the air density will be doing the rest. Okay, we can expand some more Delta V to, you know, reduce even more aggressively and let's get rid of the ascent stage together with some, you know, unneeded fuel. We are returning capsule completely on its own and it will be landing shortly. There we go, passing 30 kilometers, let's see. For the regular drogue shoot, we have everything except the speed. I'm actually ready to deploy because, uh, yeah, we were just about to cross the threshold and we wouldn't have made it anyway. All right, we had radial shoot, so maybe it's not worth, you know, cut it. Cut it. There we go. Maybe that will give us a little bit of velocity that we need to be able to test the radial shoots. Now we're too low. We do have the speed, but not the... Yeah, okay, I gotcha. Well, at least we'll get to deploy the shoots when we damn well want to. There you go. We are landing softly, hopefully. Uh-oh. We're coming down on the mountain biome. I'm actually a little bit scared about that. I just hope that the landing coupole or whatever you want to call it it's just not going to tumble off like a regular you know football all right slowly descending at four meters per second 
and soon enough we will be touching down. Okay, not touching down in that sense. Okay. Eighty meter and coming down. All right, and almost there. And there we go. We stuck the landing immediately. Or amazing, sorry. Apparently I didn't have my coffee. All right, now, that being said, are there any more experiments that should be running? No, not really. We've gotten some science, we've gotten some experiments, we've gotten some funds, more importantly, and Dorothy has gained a point. Okay, guys. Well, I really hope that you like look at those all those decorations done by Final Frontier. Isn't it amazing? G43 Mach 2. Exceptional contract ribbon, first carbon in orbit, etc. etc. Well guys, I hope you liked the today's episode. Hit subscribe, hit like, and I will be seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gronfrog signing off.